Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can make ammonium sulfate in the lab and in industry. Hopefully you can remember that ammonium sulfate has the formula NH4 in brackets 2 SO4, but the question is how is it produced? If we start off within the lab, then nice and simply ammonium sulfate is produced by reacting ammonia NH3 with sulfuric acid H2SO4 to form our ammonium sulfate NH4-2SO4. Now some of the key things to remember about producing ammonium sulfate is that it's on a small scale in the lab, so you only get a small amount of it. It's also made by titration and then crystallization, so you react the two together with the titration and then evaporate off the water giving you your crystals of ammonium sulfate. And then finally it's made in batches which means you just make it when you need it. Let's compare that to how it's made in industry then, and there are a few differences. For start, in industry it's made on a large scale, and it's made from lots of different raw materials. So for example, to make ammonium sulphate, we can start off with sulphur, with oxygen from the air, with water, with carbon from coal, with nitrogen also from the air. The ammonium sulphate is then made in several stages. So for example, in the first stage, sulphur and oxygen react together to make sulphur trioxide. Water and the carbon from coal are used to make our hydrogen gas. We then take sulphur trioxide and react that with water to make sulfuric acid. We then take hydrogen, we react it with nitrogen, again from our air, to make our ammonia, which hopefully you can remember is the harbour process. And then finally, we take our two reactants, sulfuric acid and ammonia, which we've just made, and use them, react them together to make ammonium sulphate. Now the benefit of this is it's a continuous process. And what that means is the reactants are constantly poured in, so you're constantly making ammonium sulfate. So you're getting it on a large scale and a lot easier than having to do a titration. And that's everything you do need to know on how ammonium sulfate is formed. So I've got a six mark question for you. Have a go at it, pause the video, and then we'll see how you've got on in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So what you've got to do is compare how ammonium sulfate is produced in the lab to how it's produced in industry. So you're gonna get one mark for how it's made in the lab and one mark for that comparison. So the first way you can get the mark is by saying that in the lab it's made by reacting ammonia with sulfuric acid. The second mark is that comparison. So by saying in industry it's made from lots of raw materials and usually they will accept named raw materials such as sulfur, nitrogen, water, etc. So that's how you'll get your second mark. The second comparison is on scale. So in the lab, it's made on a small scale. That gets you one mark. And then industry, it's on a large scale. So that comparison is where you get the second mark for this point. The third comparison is about production. So in the lab, it involves a titration and then crystallization. That gets you a mark. And then your comparison for saying in industry, it involves several stages, gets you the second mark for this point. And then finally, the process. So in the lab, it's made in batches, that gets you one mark. And then in industry, it's a continuous process, actually comparison. It's worth pointing out here that because this one's a comparison question, although there are four points, you wouldn't get four marks just for listing them off. So if you said in the lab, it's made by reacting ammonia with sulfuric acid, one mark. In the lab, it's made in a small scale, one mark. In the lab, it involves titration and crystallization, one mark. That would get you three. But because you haven't done a comparison, you can't get the fourth, fifth, and sixth mark, even if you turn around and said it's made in batches in the lab. You would have to have those comparisons. So how did you get on? Hopefully, you all got six out of six, and hopefully the video helped. I have got two review questions for you. Feel free to have a go at them, put your answers in the comments, and I'll let you know if you're right. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.